Attention all anatomy aficionados. This is the anatomy of the skin. To begin, mammalian skin is composed of two primary layers, the epidermis, which provides waterproofing and serves as a barrier to infection. The dermis, which serves as a location for the appendages of skin. The epidermis is composed of the outermost layers of the skin. It forms a protective barrier over the body's surface, responsible for keeping water in the body and preventing pathogens from entering, and is a stratified squamous epithelium. Composed of proliferating basal and differentiated suprabasal keratinocytes. Keratinocytes are the major cells, constituting 95% of the epidermis, while Merkel cells. Melanocytes and Langerhans cells are also present. The epidermis can be further subdivided into the following strata or layers, beginning with the outermost layer, stratum corneum. Stratum lucidum, only in palms and soles. Stratum granulosum. Stratum spinosum. Stratum basale, also called the stratum germinativum. Keratinocytes in the stratum basale proliferate through mitosis and the daughter cells move up the strata changing shape and composition as they undergo multiple stages of cell differentiation to eventually become a new cleated. During that process, keratinocytes will become highly organized, forming cellular junctions or desmosomes between each other and secreting keratin proteins and lipids which contribute to the formation of an extracellular matrix and provide mechanical strength to the skin. Keratinocytes from the stratum corneum are eventually shed from the surface or desquamation. Also, the epidermis contains no blood vessels and cells in the deepest layers are nourished by diffusion from blood capillaries extending to the upper layers of the dermis. The epidermis and dermis are separated by a thin sheet of fibers called the basement membrane, which is made through the action of both tissues. The basement membrane controls the traffic of the cells and molecules between the dermis and epidermis but also serves, through the binding of a variety of cytokines and growth factors as a reservoir for their controlled release during physiological remodeling or repair processes. The dermis is the layer of skin beneath the epidermis that consists of connective tissue and cushions the body from stress and strain. The dermis provides tensile strength and elasticity to the skin through an extracellular matrix composed of collagen fibrils, microfibrils, and elastic fibers. Embedded in hyaluronan and proteoglycans. Skin proteoglycans are varied and have very specific locations. For example, hyaluronan, versicin and decorin are present throughout the dermis and epidermis extracellular matrix, whereas biglycan and perlecan are only found in the epidermis. It also harbors many mechanoreceptors or nerve endings that provide the sense of touch and heat through nociceptors and thermoreceptors. It also contains the hair follicles, sweat glands, sebaceous glands, apocrine glands, lymphatic vessels and blood vessels. The blood vessels in the dermis provide nourishment and waste removal from its own cells as well as for the epidermis. Dermis and subcutaneous tissues are thought to contain germinative cells involved in formation of horns, osteoderm, and other extraskeletal apparatus in mammals. The dermis is tightly connected to the epidermis through a basement membrane and is structurally divided into two areas, a superficial area adjacent to the epidermis, called the papillary region, and a deep thicker area known as the reticular region. The papillary region is composed of loose areolar connective tissue. This is named for its finger-like projections called papillae that extend toward the epidermis. The papillae provide the dermis with a bumpy surface that interdigitates with the epidermis, strengthening the connection between the two layers of skin. The reticular region lies deep in the papillary region and is usually much thicker. It is composed of dense irregular connective tissue and receives its name from the dense concentration of collagenous, elastic, and reticular fibers that weave throughout it. 
These protein fibers give the dermis its properties of strength, extensibility, and elasticity. Also located within the reticular region are the roots of the hair, sweat glands, sebaceous glands, receptors, nails, and blood vessels. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe for more content. Goodbye.